hello guys welcome back to another Android Firebase tutorial in this video I am going to show you how to use the click action with Firebase notification so here I am going to send a simple notification to this virtual device so specify a notification title now specify a notification message now send the notification okay here the notification arrived on this virtual device so if the user click the firebase notification by default it will open the launcher activity of that application so here I click this notification so it will open the launcher activity of this application if you want to open a specific activity when user click the firebase notification in that case you need to use an additional attribute called the click action with your firebase notification so here is a simple firebase notification example the notification contain attribute like body title and click action here you need to provide your activity indent filter action name as the click action so here is our Android application this application contain only one activity that is the main activity and that is the launcher activity so here I'm going to add an additional activity for this application create an empty activity specify the activity name as notification activity now go to the layout file of the newly created activity here I am going to add a larger text view new notification arrived so if the user click the firebase notification I want to open this newly created activity instead of the launcher activity so the first thing I have to provide an indent filter for this newly created activity so open Android manifesto.xml here is the newly created activity and here is our main activity that is the launcher activity so now I have to provide an indent filter for this newly created activity so add an indent filter specify an action for this indent filter here I provide an action for this indent filter now specify the category of this activity here specify the category as category default now open FCM messaging, ser messaging service class so if your application in the foreground the on message received method will invoke here also we have to start the newly created activity so the first thing we have to get the click action from the remote message so create a variable called the click action remote message dot get notification dot get click action now we have to provide the click action for this indent object the indent filter name is available within this click action so now we need to change PHP script in our application server so the first thing I have to copy the intent filter name for the newly created activity so I copy this intent filter name uh, this is the PHP script that sent a notification so here is the notification area here is title and message now here I have to add an additional attribute called the click action 
Now here you have to specify the indent filter name of the newly created activity. Okay, save this file. Now we can test our application. Now run the application. Okay, here the application is available on this virtual device. So the first thing we need to send the FCM token to the application server. So here is our database. So send the FCM token. Okay, now the FCM token is available on the database table. Now here I am going to send the notification again. Now first make sure that the application in the background. Now here the application in the background. Now here I am going to send the notification. Now the notification arrived on this virtual device. So if the user click the notification. So here I am going to click this notification. it will open the newly created activity instead of the launcher activity. Okay, now here the application in the foreground. Now I am going to send the push notification again. Here the notification arrived. So if I click this notification, it will open another activity and it is not the launcher activity. So this is how we use a click action with your Firebase notification.